Hello everybody, and welcome to this little segment on all about how to do a spiked maple glaze. Now I've been looking forever to try and find a recipe that I like and I've not been able to find one, so I've had to make one. So, what you're gonna need is butter. Obviously, I'm vegan, so I'm not using butter butter, I'm using soy spread, because it'll melt down easy enough. Two limes, chili, maple syrup, and pineapple. You can go for fresh if you want. I'm being lazy and this is in the cupboard. So this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> now there are two ways you can cook this. You can either do it on the grill or in the oven. We're gonna do both methods today just so you can see what the both like, then you can choose which one works for you. So you want two tablespoons of butter. Butter ideally needs to be melted, so what we're gonna do. Move them. Oof. Give that a few seconds to warm up and get back to this hmm this one first right you don't want to chop that bad boy up so get rid of the end And a very important one after you've been touching chilies please do not touch your eyes or your face or your loved ones or a plant you're particularly fond of uh, because it's probably going to do some damage wash your hands wash your hands once you've got your two limes cut in half and you've chopped up your chili we're just basically going to throw that into the pan of uh, melted butter with our maple syrup. Okay. <laughs> if you could see my face, you'd see it's not bothered, so it's easily rectifiable. One line. Give them a good squeeze, get your anger out. There we go. And then grab your chili. Need 100 ml of maple syrup so just pour that straight in there now whilst our glaze is bubbling away it's time for us to line our bits of pineapple on our baking trays now I know I'm biased I'm just trying that next it's really really good so Yeah, for me that face is about right, so that's how they feel up to you. It's bubbling. Now sometimes I'd say it'd be nice for it to be a little, a little bit thicker, but it is going to soak into the pineapple anyway. Um, and the last thing you want to do, especially if you're trying to impress people, is burn it. We don't want to do that because it'll smell awful, trust me, I've been there. So once you've got a nice little bubble, a nice little simmer, turn the heat down. We're going to leave it there for maybe an extra minute. Alright, that's what we're going to do because the mixture is still a little bit thin. I'm just going to make it into a bit more well. Just so I don't have to do a lot of cleaning after it's I hate cleaning. <laughs> You want your oven at about 200 degrees C or 180 fan 
realistically about 15 minutes in there should do it but you want to get it nice and glazed so keep an eye on it because you know oven temperatures may vary really now with your grill you really need to monitor this because it will go from raw to burnt really quickly and after about seven to ten minutes you should be fine but keep it on a medium heat so the pineapple that's on the plate closest to the bottom has come from the grill and it's not going to have uh, as much of a caramelized color as the pineapple that's coming out of the oven now it's all a matter of aesthetics here whichever one you think looks best because they both will taste pretty much exactly the same success you did it now realistically you can use this glaze on anything you don't have to use it on pineapple i've just used it on that because it tastes delicious so have a little dance enjoy your success and i'll see you again soon